This is Dennis here, and I have something a little different. Um, I do work on my tow, my truck I tow with, not my tow truck, my truck I tow with, and a company reached out to me, Launch, Reader Elite F, to help program it. So if you're scared to do uh, Foreskin, they say that this thing uh, works very similar. You can do the same type of programming. So we're going to go try it on uh, my F-150, and uh, I'm also going to show a little bit what Foreskin looks like. You know, I can see the advantage of having this uh, is that you have only this little thing. Foreskin, you need a Windows computer. And it has to be a pretty current Windows computer. It has to have at least 10 on it. And you got to keep that updated. And most of the time, it takes a long time. So you're going to have to, um, like, have an extension cord running out to your car to charge it or use uh, the power from the truck, an inverter to power your laptop. Because it, it can take an hour or so to do stuff like that with the... Scan. So, all right, let's go into the truck and go in there and start doing the programming with uh, this part because it has OBD2 and all that. That's the same as everything. You read things, but it's the programming parts can be a little different. So let's get in there and take a look. Okay, so it's a mess in here, yes. It's been raining every day, but this works just like an OBD2 reader where you just stick it into the little port under the uh, dash. Comes up with this uh, neat screen of all the things to do. Kind of interlude here with this is kind of why launch uh, Ford thing may just be a little advantage because if you do four scan, you need to have the, uh, the table to tell you what to modify to actually really get in there. I mean, there is some uh, ability to go do minor things, but this is the deep dive. I've done all this. I've done a lot of it, uh, but you know, this is daunting. If you don't know much about computers, this is kind of actually scary because you're going into the computer of the truck and programming it, you know, and there's a whole spreadsheet of people, people have figured out and where to put things, but there's also another part and we'll show that. We'll show that as a comparison above on, um, uh, four scan work does high level. Uh, just um, s settings that are mainly factory. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. So that's just some, one of the little disadvantages of Foreskin. To actually really use it, there's multiple pieces besides having to have a computer and all the other things you need. All right. Now that it's all hooked up, uh, we're going to go in and do stuff that we're going to sh show kind of comparable of Foreskin above. So... We go into diagnostics. Ford. They can't let it auto do auto on this. It seems to have a little glitch. But if you do the Ford, it tells you what it can do. Okay. So really, this is kind of cool. It has a health thing, system scan. It's basically OB, regular OBD2. What the neat stuff is the special functions and body. We can change security settings, restraints, service functions. Battery monitoring system because we're not we're not doing that. Um, the camera, the service functions, the configurations, change that service functions. So you can go and uh, put modules. That if you change a module, you can actually program it for your truck because a lot of them had the VIN put into it and then powertrain. Okay, so now we go in the program of uh, parameters. Beautiful PowerPoint max timeout. So it does all these really neat things, and you can go there and change the settings. You can make the PowerPoint stay on a little bit longer. 
you change the warning to, uh, the warning chimes. I gotta figure out which one is that start one, which is really annoying. And yeah, yeah. So this is really kind of a neat little tool that will, you know, make it a little bit easier than seeing what you can see on, uh, above with the what you do with Forescan. Because it is all here, and it's pretty much in English. Pretty straightforward. Change the way your door locks work. Configure the keypad. If you have it so equipped. A remote start, which I do have on the vehicle. Configure your audio. Yeah, the, the fake engine noise. Mine's turned off. So yeah, this, this is really this is really kind of a neat thing, and it does all of this, and it does full OBD2 diagnostics, and it also does live data, which has been very helpful because I had a bad uh, oxygen sensor on here, and I was able to read the voltage and how it was um, the trim. It was very, 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 very informative, and you can record all the information too. So yeah, I'm gonna show, show that here. Go here, yeah, diagnostic records. Then you double click on it and select all. Okay. And it shows it was showing my recording of my trims. When I was driving down, I believe I was driving down the highway. Because I had to change the bank one because it was way out of whack. See, they're very much similar now. And that's kind of, that means they're both working. See how, yeah, see how they're both similar? It shows they're both working in tandem. So it's pretty neat what this can do. And this is recorded right on here. So you don't have to go to the computer or anything. You can actually look at the data right on the uh, screen. All right. So there, there it is. There is the uh, launch uh, Creator Elite F. It's right there. I'll put a link to it below. So this has been pretty neat. And um, it's a pretty decent tool. It's a great tool. Uh, one of the better ones I've seen out there for Ford. And uh, I'm also going to try and play with... Uh, I haven't had time because the rain's been coming a lot. But I'm going to play with it on my Bronco and see what I can do with that. Uh, it's a newer vehicle. I'll give it an idea with the uh, Sync 4. All right. Thanks for watching. If you... Uh, Got anything? Hey, comment. Let me know if you use a different reader or how, what you think of this reader. And uh, like, subscribe, all those things. And if you have something cool to drive or a classic, take it out. You'll make someone's day, including your own. Have a great day.